Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I just wanna show you Windows 10 Deep Bloater and how to get rid of some bloatware on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine. So the PC I have here is pretty much brand new. This is a Dell Inspiron 15 3000. Um, this is running some pretty low end specs. So as you can see, we have a Celeron N4020 CPU. It's only dual core. Um, and as you can see, just idling, it is running all over the place. We have four gigs of RAM. We do have an SSD, surprisingly, in this. Um, but I want to see if we can get rid of any Windows 10 bloatware with Windows 10 Deep Bloater and if it maybe will improve the idle time or the performance of this machine. All right, so this is um, available on GitHub, of course. You can just type in Windows 10 Deep Loader in Google or Bing or whichever your search engine of choice is, and you'll find it here. And then we just want to go to code and just download this, uh, download this file here. All right, so we're just going to download the zip file. And then that should download right here. And then we're going to open our file. And you may have to extract it, so we'll go ahead and press the compressed folder tools here in our Windows Explorer and extract all. Go ahead and extract it to the existing folder or wherever you'd like it to go. Now these open up in PowerShell and they have a couple of different functions. Uh, the one I prefer to use is the GUI. It's the easiest one to use. So if you're using this for, for the first time, that's definitely the one I'd recommend. So what you want to do is just simply right click on the Windows 10 Deep Loader GUI and just hit run with PowerShell. All right, if you're running this for the first time, you'll get this. It's an execution policy change, and this just helps to protect you from scripts you don't trust. Uh, we do trust this, so we're going to go ahead and answer yes or a yes to all. So I'll go ahead and hit A and let that run. Once you agree to that policy change, you will uh, be greeted with our GUI here. So you have a, quite a few options. So we'll go ahead and go through this together here. So we, we do have the deep bloat option. So you have customized blacklist. If you click on this, after a few seconds, it'll come up and it'll actually have a bunch of different um, applications. So you can go through here and you can customize this to your liking. Now this is going to remove a bunch of different things that they've compiled um, that is in, they're included by, with Windows by default. So um, it is up to you. So you can save this custom allow list and block list right here, and then you can run that uh, with a different command in the GUI here, remove bloatware with custom block list. If you'd like to remove everything, you just click this and it will start to go ahead and remove all those things. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Now, once I click this, you'll notice in the PowerShell uh, script behind us, it will just start to remove all these things. So I'll go ahead and click this. As you can see, it's already going through and removing things. Now, once this has completed, you'll see finished all tasks here at the bottom of the PowerShell window. Now, uh, you have a couple other choices here. So as I showed you in the previous clip, once you go to your start menu after you do remove all the bloatware, you'll notice some uh, just arrows here and those you can simply remove. However, you can also use uh, one of the other changes or fixes down here at the bottom, which says unpin tiles from start menu. However, I've had a little bit of issue with this. So as you can see, I did click it previously. Uh, it looks like it's in process, but it's been sitting here for a, quite a little bit of time. Um, I did actually exit out of PowerShell. I went back into it and tried it again. And as you can see, it's not doing anything at all with those. So you may not be able to unpin them all. It may work for you, it may not, uh, but it didn't work for me. Uh, but you do have these other changes as well. So uh, the bloatware is up at the top. We have registry changes, so you can revert those changes. Uh, you also have Cortana, so you can enable or disable her, and this is obviously Windows 10. If it's Windows 11, uh, that would not be applicable. Uh, for Edge PDF, you can enable or disable that, so if you don't want it to open um, up in Edge, you can disable that. You also have your dark theme, so um, I can go ahead and enable that. So I can show you here, we have the light theme right now. If I were just to go hit enable, as you can see, everything got dark, including the Windows Explorer window. If I want to disable that, just go in here. And then as you can see, it changed it right there. Other changes here at the bottom. If you don't use OneDrive, you can have that uninstalled. You can uh, click the unpin tiles from start menu. Obviously that did not work for me. As you can see in the start menu, it still has all these tiles um, just sitting there. So I'm not sure why that doesn't work, but uh, maybe it'll work for you. Uh, we also have Disable Telemetry and Tasks, which is something so that we should definitely do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then again, as you can see in the PowerShell, go through and it will disable all those things. So you can see the Wi-Fi Sense and uh, anything like that. And of course, you can always scroll back up if you want to see what it's doing in the background here. So uh, stopping Cortana, being searched in the Start menu, Windows Feedback Experience, uh, Live Tiles, Data Collection, Location Tracking, all that good stuff. So that's definitely stuff we like to see, stopping and disabling web, uh, WAP push service, diagnostics, tracking, 
has been disabled. So really nice to see here. We can also remove the bloatware reg keys. So uh, they will not come back. So we can do that as well. And then as you can see, removing these different items from the registry. And that may take a little bit of time uh, just based on how many apps there are. And then the last but not least, of course, we have install.net uh, version 3.5. So if that's not installed by default, um, that will uh, just hit the server and download that to your PC. Uh, so we're still in process of that. So once that's done, I'll go ahead and try that and I'll show you how that looks. All right, and at the very end, you can see additional bloatware has been removed. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and install .NET version 3.5. And let's see how well that works here. So, all right, has been successfully installed. So uh, I would guess if it wasn't installed, it would probably pop up an offer to install it, but it looks like it's probably been installed in the background already. All right, now that we've removed our bloatware, we've gotten rid of a couple things uh, on this machine. Let's go ahead and see where we're idling at right now in our task manager, just out of curiosity. So this is a lower spec machine. And as you can see, oh, look, we went down to about 7%, 9%. So not too shabby. Our memory usage is still pretty high, um, but it looks like it may have helped a little bit. Uh, now, again, the only thing that it did not remove were the pinned tiles on the start menu, but everything else worked really well. Got rid of all the extra junk we didn't need. So if you are looking to um, kind of clean up your Windows 10 install or Windows 11 install, if you've just installed it, or maybe if you've had it for a little while, uh, definitely try this out. I'll leave a link to uh, where this is down below and uh, definitely thank the creator of this uh, because this is a fantastic option and uh, I think it's uh, quite helpful. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.